Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Emilio Ash here, very bizarre. Very bizarre lane here, but can be oppressive when you get that uh, extra range on Ash. It can set up for those slows. You can push them out. Pressure in this early game. No kills, no direct fights, but it's just nonstop action. Peanut gonna get crashed into. Yeah, and all moving up the river as well. They will have first rotation. As Tayun may be a little bit slow on this one. So Hamalife Esports are the ones that get in. Cuz has to flash. And he's going to try and get out. That's not a blast cone, so that's not gonna get you over the wall. And that is first blood going to Viper. But at least he scried the river. Great. Looks like he is considering it for the moment, but this one's going down very, very low. And there is a whole host of vision. So I think this first break is just going to be secured. You know, moving on over, and Cuz says, all right, got the message, I'm getting out. Very rare to see, actually. Jungler can't hold the turret. They've got Void Grub, so they're just doing so much more damage than Ash and Milio can ever do, and that's going to be first brick going over. And on the other side, it's just not an equipment. it up right now. So there's a razor-thin timing window. Zarya also wrapping around right now. Has to be a really good engage here, and they have to deal with package. Yeah, we'll see whether Viper is going to skate his way in. A teleport to come forward from Dudu to get him into the fight, but... He's not starting it off just yet. Nature's Grasp not going to be avoided there by Bulldog, who will get knocked off. Empress Divide pushes him back, but the package has been delivered. He might actually survive, but Doran is trying to deliver death to the bottom lane. Bulldog takes down Zekka. The Dragon's secured by Humble Life, and now Taehyun might be a little bit too far forward. Man, so you can see some hope for this maybe working out, but you can see as well that it is just more difficult to make it work. Yeah, it, it certainly is, and it... I don't want to say that it shows a lack of mastery of this combo. Right, but Quandong Freaks do have a lot of control of this right now. Dudu with his teleport at the ready, Doran as well doing the same thing. And now the teleports are going to be invested. Hum alive, they want to find this decisive fight. Doran trying to get into position, looking for some knockups. Peanut's already very, very low, but there's the nature's grass. Doran has to get out of there, though, and it's somehow a Zeri that takes the drain out of turret, and that is definitely good news. Ah, but it's sole point here that goes, you know, blowing up a Azir that's engaging or trying to kite back against a Maokai very well, not at this stage of the game, so you really need the Corky to be your main source of damage, and uh-oh. Okay, that's a Magna Storm. Arrow will connect here as well as Viper's over the wall, trying to get that DPS, buying some space here. The ult is off, but he does have to flash to get himself out of it as Doran pops over the wall, jump scare everyone, and in goes Zekka. He wants to find the Empress Divide, but he just gets a flash, and Taehyun turns it on him. Now Cuz is looking for a bit more because... No ult, half hell, Doran on the flank, but I think the Quantum Freak should be able to hold this aggro. Here's another ulti from Peanut, he has no smite, not a lot of options, but they're fighting the Baron as well. Doran gets a whole Doran. lot of health back, Bulldog takes him down in the end, and it looks like the Baron should go as well as Peanut gonna get flashed on, Dudu grabs that. And Delight's like, well, I'm out of here. There ain't no, nothing we can do. And Quandong freaks. Right here. Yeah, this, they've spotted him out. World Ender does come on through here as Doran knows. But he does have to try and get him CC. The Infernal Chains connect, and that should be the end as Dudu does make it over the wall. The arrow connects as well. They get the information, but it could just be a kill for Viper. He does not waste any time, and he is just going to explode. All right. Bulldog is going to have to Valkyrie over the wall. And I believe Hummel Life Esports also just bought all of the time they needed. However, Peanut is still in trouble. The arrow is going to connect with the Arcane Smash. Already out. That is a fair few cooldowns now used. And Viper, he can smell it. He knows exactly what this means. He might have an opportunity to get on in there as they're getting softened up. And into the back line goes Zekka. This time he finds one and it's on to Taehyun. Cuz, can you survive? The answer is no, as it is now the killing fields for Viper. Zekka gonna grab one as well, and this should just be the Baron. And this is a uh, flank ward, and he's ready to just say, this is our fight. And it looked disastrous for Hanwha Life when they didn't have vision, but that one teleport from Zekka and the fact and that- I saw like, three different wards that would have been great as a teleport location. Um, unless Dudu actually had his teleport on cooldown, uh, but I don't think he did. No, he did. He had it available. He just Dudu might have been able to change it up, but it is so difficult to fight without those options. And that's why we talk about this. Getting over the wall, this is important. This is for Cloud Soul, remember. As Magna Storm on to four, that is massive! The Empress Divide trying to be used defensively, but Viper wasn't able to be taken down. It's a one for one on the mid laners, but the Corky is so important here for Quandong Freaks. And in they go, there is the steal from Kuz. Nice work, and now Dudu 
trying to be the hero that he wasn't quite able to be in the last fight as Doran's gonna do the same thing. Flashes on top of Emilio, and Viper is still free hitting. Now the flash forward, but Taeyun also has so much damage and he'll take down Viper. Delight now having to get out of there and Doran has nothing left in the tank apart from a teleport that he might be able to utilize. Delight trying to get out of here and he does do so as Cuz will get a stab off and there is a volley that may just be the end. There's the auto attack and that is going to be that. The teleport in from Doran but I don't know whether Too it's late. gonna be but the large metal man not quite able to do so. No teleport available for that particular ward but Tain's still just dead. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. Or Doran has his ult back up, so... Vision around this Baron. And Cuz may have overstepped, does crash down. Gets a decent Shattering Strike, and look at this. The damage from Bulldog when he lands it is just gigantic. Magnus Storm to be held on to, but Doran is still alive! And they take down the jungle, and now Viper is taking matters into his own hands! Delight is incredibly low, but ever... Is... Okay, we got there in the end. Thank goodness, but he might just be dead. Yeah, he is going to be taken down. Sometimes the raptor baits you Not into worth. your demise, Wolf. Not worth on that big chicken, I don't think. Not worth. That it's might like, just be the game. Yeah, it really could be, because uh, now everyone is starting to respawn, but no one's in position. This top inhibitor is definitely dead. And they still have two and a half minutes on this Baron. Yeah, I, they, wanna... I was going to say they have mid-stacked as well. You just go over there. Yep, there are some options, but it looks like they're not going to waste their time doing that. Tayun, oh my goodness, taking so much damage from Zekka. The Azir really feeling like he's scaled up now as Viper getting to work on these Nexus turrets, and this just may be it. Dudu trying to have that performance here, but it does not work out, and everyone is swept under the rug that is their own Nexus just before it falls. And Home Life Esports, they had to work for it, but they got there in the end. A very back and forth game, and I think. You know, there's, there are, I think, really some strong arguments for multiple players picking up POG here. But, you know, it started off really well, and Quantum Freaks had a great recovery uh, with basically some, some overextensions from the side of Hanwha Life, some great punishes there. But... Like,